cell. Hey, Zim. Oh, come on, Nader. Another. Oh, my, yeah, go to work, go to work. That's really cool. I thought you are in Hong Kong. Okay, cool. So, how's everybody doing? All right. So, really quickly, you know, the past two weeks I haven't had a lot of. Uh, hey, Terry. Uh, <laughs> I am a golden god. I don't think I'm a golden god, but I'd love to stand on the rooftop and shout, "I am a golden god!" and jump off into a pool. That'd be uh, that'd be cool. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. Um, I haven't done um, I haven't done a uh, like a, a, a real video in two weeks. I had a video just in the past couple of days um, talking about my new uh, my new idea of trying to get you guys a little bit more of stitch time. And so uh, yes, yeah, this is Humbucker Tele Fred, and I'll do a review on on this Tele guitar. I will do a whole review. Um, you watch that movie today? That's so funny. So. So just really quick, I just want to talk about it. And and again, this this recap video will be posted underneath. Um, I just got an email, right? Um, th this will be posted underneath the original video. I just want to talk about. Hey, what's up, Jason? Uh, I just want to talk about um, just the concept of custom guitar lessons. Uh, the one thing I want to tell you about now, Jason Ackerman. Jason, go say hi. He he is one of my um, private students who got in uh, when the pickings were good, and he has a time slot. And uh, let's see, let's wait for him to say hi. Uh, there's some crazy static going on in the background. Is there a crazy static for everyone? That's 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 Jason, by the way, right there, Jason. Okay. Um, so I'm sorry if there's crazy static. I don't know what to do about the crazy static. YouTube and their streaming. Okay, there is crazy static. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to deal with it, okay? Because I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I'll keep it short. Is it unbearable? Hold on, I have, I have a fan here. Hold on, let's see. Let's turn the fan off, right? A little fan? Sounds like pink noise. All right, so, um, no, it's not a bad mic. It's the same mic as a, just a wishing sound. Wishing, no. no it sounds like a fan. No, it's fine. We forgive you. Okay, good, okay. Well, we'll, we'll continue. So, uh, Jason here is um, a, a, a private student. Um, so, um, was not the fan. And so, okay, hello. Okay, so, here's the deal, is, um, I teach a lot, right? I teach a lot. I teach a lot, and I want to teach you all. I, I want to teach you all. There's Scott. Scott's a private student. Look at you guys coming in. Uh, it's not raining, but I'll say, yeah, it's raining. It's raining. That's that's, that's the, uh, um, I, I wish I could say it's the microphone. Um, it's the iPhone. Like, nothing's different. I'll stream from my computer next time. I'll get this all straightened out. But let's just talk. Let's just talk for a second. Hey, Drew, and there's another personal student of mine. Holy moly, you guys are... And, and Marcel was a personal student of mine. Um, okay, so let's just get right, right to it. Um, the whole idea of, of custom video lessons is, uh, I, I know that that that, um, <laughs> that Stitch Method, when it first started, I just want to talk to you about this, was really for the guitar player, um, it was for the guitar player who had been playing for a while who had questions, who wanted to fill the gaps, who wanted to get through the swill of some YouTube teachers out there and, and really start to, you know, um, find someone who could uh, teach away that made sense to me. Like it makes sense to me, so I try to I try to give it to you exactly how it makes sense to me. But the thing is, is that I'm out, I'm out of time. All right, I'm just out of time. I'm I'm maxed out, and um, I wish I could teach everyone. So the whole custom idea is um, you 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 record the video of you asking what question is like. Hey, I I've been thinking about this for ten years, right? And what is the answer? And I'll shoot another uh, I'll shoot a video back to you, and. Um, and, it, and, and so far, I've had five people sign up, um, and I've done them, and it's great, and I have more coming. Um, so, you know, right now, um, the whole, the good reason for this, and I'm not trying to pitch this, but, um, yeah, not to be confused. No, it's, it's at, oh, yeah, not that Stitch Method. No, not with two T's, Marcel, correct, just one T. If you go to stitchmethod.com, uh, you'll see the custom video page. And the thing is, is, um, you know, if you, wanna, if you want an answer to a question, I'll give it to you. If I know it, I will absolutely give it to you. And everything has a money-back guarantee. Like, you guys know, um, 
it, it, if, if it sucks or if it doesn't make sense, I'll try to refilm it for you. But if you're like, that was crap, okay, here's your money back. Because obviously I didn't do my job. My job is to teach. And in teaching, you're not supposed to just teach crap and have a, have a student say, do you get it? Like, you get it? Because that's what most teachers do, and that sucks. Uh, my job would be to say, hey, let me know what you got from this. And, and anyway, so if you're interested, uh, take a look at it. Um, where do we sign up? You can go to Stitch Method, S-T-I-C-H Method. Dot com. It's, I, I kind of redid my uh, my new um, my new site, and uh, you'll see it says custom lessons. Dave Smith, no, no, no. What did I do? What did I do to offend you? Um, so, uh, if you have questions that you need, what you you make a video of you talking to the camera to me uh, with the guitar in hand, and you show me. Uh, okay, good. And um, and I will email you before I make a video. I'll email you. Hey, man, this is what I think we're gonna go over. Like, let me know if it sounds good. Give you a game plan. And then uh, we take it from there. But anyway, um, so far I've gotten really good reviews, and, and and that makes me feel good. Hey, is it going to be like Paul Gilbert thing where everyone who signs up can see the question and video answers? No. And hey, Daryl, my man, guys, that's Daryl who designed all the Stitch Method logos. That guy is just effing awesome. I'm working on that, Daryl. I'm working on a new format for for the website where I can have a lot of people in all at once. But it takes time. It's, it's a step-by-step -step process. I, I, I mean, I'm going to ask you a question. Just, just uh, so you have no more time for private lessons. Not right now. Not until I have some people who say, "Hey, man, I, I've learned enough." And Dave, so like, if if you want to get the feel of a private lesson on your own time with no schedule, yeah, Daryl is the silver guy. If you want to get the feel of private lessons where I'm actually like mentioning your name and we talk to each other through videos, um, then. I, I could I can address your concerns. Um, you can go to stitchmethod.com. Raise your prices, man. I I know Marcel, but you gotta understand. Okay, for, I I know, and you're probably giggling. I, I can't I can't raise my prices too much. Let me explain something. I'm a new subscriber. You help me playing. Um, hold on, I didn't see that. Uh, playing next. Level. Whoa, Kevin. Kevin, what? And thank you, man. That was uh, that's unreal. But, but don't don't start the donation train. Just, but thank you. Like I'm probably turning red. Don't don't start it yet, okay? <laughs> Please, because I want to explain something. And I lost my, tra my train of thought. Okay. So just by but just by a simple answer of yes or no. I don't. I want you. To, yeah. Thank you, Kevin. That was beautiful. Kevin, thank you. Honestly, thank you. Um. Here here's the deal. Um, second from the mind of John Mayer. We'll talk about John Mayer, but John Mayer is just a really talented guitar player, so we got to pick like something very certain. But hold on, hold on. You guys do realize that you know I started Stitch Method in uh, September of 2016. I started it because I was a little afraid of. No, I, I was I was upset. Okay, I'll tell you a story. You know this. This is a this is a yes or no question, believe it or not. Like you know, I I knew and I I know the frustrations of trying to play guitar. I know them. I've had them in my heart, like for 20 years, just aching. Like how do these guys do it? Then I figured it out, and I realized like, hey, I want. Um, oh yeah, you do owe me a video. Yes, Kevin. By the way, yeah, you yes, you do owe me a video. Yeah, and, and it was lovely uh, actually meeting you face to face while you were sitting in your car. He, Kevin May signed up for a video, a uh, custom video lesson, and I asked him to film another video. But back, back to the point. When I started Stitch Method, you guys, this is this is the question. You guys do understand, and I'm not. This isn't me trying to like fluff my nuts here. I had no idea where this was going. Right? I just made a couple of videos to be like, hey guys, here's my take on the guitar. I believe in myself, and if you understand it run with it, right? And then the response from um, frustrations got higher and higher and after I started uh, studying researching it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So so the thing is, is I, I, I never intended to charge a lot of money for lessons. I don't think, I don't think it's like ethical to charge like $200 for a master class when you're just in it for the money, right? You're just in it for the money, and and you can say yeah, we'll put a guarantee up on it. You can say that stuff, but like, you know, nobody's gonna cash in on that guarantee because they're gonna think that they're stupid. You know, if I go buy a blues masterclass for two hundred dollars, and all the fake reviews are there, and you buy it, and and you take it, and you don't understand it, you're it's it's more likely that you're not gonna ask a person for a refund because you you're putting the blame of you not like owning it on yourself. So. When it comes to private lessons, my prices for private lessons, they're, they're higher than I want them to be, and it's because of demand, and I get that, I, I totally get that, 
but I can't raise him too much because I don't want to hold knowledge for ransom, right? I don't want to hold knowledge for ransom. So, you know, my master class is one of time of 13s. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm obviously not in front of me. Look at me. Like, <laughs> look at this guy, right? Like, you know, I wear sandals every day because they're comfortable. I sit on the couch and look at Reddit. Um, it's expanding and hiring dedicated subscribers as teachers out of the way. Is expanding and hiring dedicated subscribers as teachers out of the question? No. That's something that I'm working on. Um, I'm working on, uh, um, if you guys want to take lessons I, with Jeff, I, I have a student, Jeff, who literally downloaded all of the Stitch Method. Like, he gets it, man. Like, I see him now every other week. Uh, no, uh, no, man, you give great instruction. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I got it, right? I appreciate it. If you guys want to take lessons with someone who got 100% data transfer from Stitch to Mime and, and at a reduced cost, Jeff will more than happy teach you. And the thing is, is Jeff is in contact with me. So if you take lessons with Jeff, if you want to take lessons with Jeff, Jeff is awesome. He's in Oregon. He's a smart dude. He can play really well, and he understands everything I threw at him for the past year and a half. Um, so, and they're, they're, those are reduced price lessons, of course, but if you have questions, he can ask me, and then I can give it to you and him, and then he can give it to you. But that's, that, we're starting something like that. And that's really flattering that people want to work with me in that, in that method. But, what I want to say is, I still want to give you guys, the, um, oh my god, I still want to give you variables. Give me one second to read this. Hey, Chief, I got a question. Of course, there are variables like how much a beginner is practicing, but at what point should a beginner get a new guitar from the one they're learning, and which was low budget uh, to professional grade acts? Okay, that's a great question. I'm going to answer that. Just remind me. Um, what I was saying is, I forgot what I was saying, is uh, I, I, I love teaching, and I want to connect with every single person. Like, if you're watching, if you're here live, if you're here live, you're, you're connecting with me. I'm a, Right now, there's hundreds of you here, and you're all over the world, and you could be driving, you could be eating, you could be sitting next to your family, and it's it's so, like, amazing that you just want to pick up and see me, and that's great, and I want to see you guys, but I feel bad that I don't have enough time in the world, so hence hence the custom video lessons. Um, in all honesty, it takes me, um, <laughs> David Solomon right here, all right, David Solomon right here, this is one of my newest <laughs> students, and this guy, I, I, David, I mean, you can say it, if I, I'm not going to say it, but... He says, Scott Girard ain't got nothing on Stitch. And um, and this guy, David, who's uh, an awesome guitar player. David, can I give your band a shout-out yet? You let me know. He's a great guitar player. He's got a great mind. I've been working with him for about, I'd say about three months, right? About three months. And um, and he took lessons from, from a serious guitar player, and he thinks that, uh, that, that it's more enjoyable to take lessons from me. I'm just going to let him say that. But anyway, but uh, his his band is called Time, T-H-Y-M-E. And, um, and it's, it's awesome working with him because he's a gigging musician who's in it just to absorb everything and uh, he really gets everything I, I, I throw at him anyway so it's, it's again these are you, you, this is, anyway what I'm trying to say is I want to connect with all of you and it, and if you want to connect with me and, and you and you want your own um, if you're doing shout outs my website is always oh yeah what key am I in dot com <laughs> that's Jason's website and that's a great website that I've helped uh, he's asked me for input and and um, it's awesome you can type it in also Jason if you want to He's, he's asking for, for input to make things easier to understand. Um, it, <laughs> and so, to make the longer story short, I want to connect with all of you. I, I want to connect with all of you, you want to connect with me. So hence I made custom guitar lessons because there's some downtime in my studio. Like when I'm, when I'm at my studio location, I'm teaching, I might have 10, 15 minutes in between a, um, a lesson and I can film a video really quickly and get it to you and uh, I'll stop talking. So let's just answer uh, some questions now. I'm done going over the concept of, of custom lessons and why they exist. Um, uh, you can't type web addresses in the chat. What key am I in? And then can you write like D-O-T, C-O-M dot com? Uh, thanks, Jason. Um, okay, so what, what? when should you get a new guitar? Um, we'll talk about that. Okay, so let's, I have a very strict opinion. I'm just writing this to remind you at the beginning. Yeah, this I'm doing it right now. Um, so, when should it, when should a beginner get a new guitar? Uh, <laughs> um, no, Jason, that's not true. Uh, I'll give you my advice. All right. Um, first time in the live chat. Hello. So, you get your first guitar, and my first guitar was a cream-colored knockoff Stratocaster uh, that I dropped. I dropped and chipped it maybe four days into having it. Right. Um, I, 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 I knew I needed a new guitar when I wasn't getting the sounds I wanted out anymore. I developed my sound, I developed my technique, I developed my timing on that guitar. That, that guitar was responsible for me like playing guitar. But there was a point where I couldn't coax the strings or I couldn't pluck 
my wing get more expressive. Uh, maybe due to the limited type of electronics or the woods, but I knew I needed a different guitar because it was it felt like it was time, okay? So I want to make sure you understand that it should feel like it's time. You have all the time in the world, and when you go into a guitar center and there's, you know, 8,000 guitars, um, uh, thank you. Um, cool. Oh, by the way, yeah, I I'll mention something really quickly. Thank you, Blue Whiskey. That's a very, very nice, um, very nice comment or compliment. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Um, it it's intimidating to see, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's intimidating to see all that stuff and say, I want that, I want that, I want it. We all want it. I mean, if I, could, if I could live in a guitar center, right, I would. Especially, I'd sit on the drum kits, because I love that stuff. But anyway, so, when you feel like you're not able to express yourself anymore, uh, and, and you've done a good job on your original instrument, that's when it is time. By the way, time out. Aloha, by the way. Um, you're a great teacher. It helped me so much throughout my journey. Thank you. That's very nice, Chad. And, and, um, and, and, and we're all on a journey. You know, like, you guys do understand, right? I'm... I'm learning more and more and more about the up, like the the tangents of music. Uh, play and tell us what they're thinking as they play. Thoughts right there in the moment. Okay, so you want to do that? All right, so I got <laughs> I can do that. But I have a video coming out soon, by the way. Uh, by the way, by the way. Um, by the way, how many people here caught? I have I have, I have a video somewhere in Stitch Man that caught the fact that um uh, I have a podcast coming out, right? Anybody know this podcast? It, it's not what you guys think it is, but I do have a podcast. I'm, I'm actually filming the first episode of it tomorrow, and I am happily sponsored, and, um, and that's pretty cool. And so, just to let you know, oh, I don't know. Like, I, I still have to get the name down. Like, it's so raw, but I'm doing it. And 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 somebody just said something which reminded me. Um, no, it's it's not, it's solo, but Sean will be on it. But it's going to be a Stitch Method podcast. But here here's the idea of the Stitch Method podcast for all of you. Um, I, w I want you to understand something. And I think all of I think all of you, I think this is going to hit you right home. All right, we all have friends, we all have family, we all have people who will like crap on the type of music that you like, um, and and sometimes it's hard to like, you know. How do I explain this? It's hard to, you know, state your opinion sometimes about your music because everybody's that we we all have different paths we come from. Music resonates with us differently. But when you love something, like when when you, I'll play banjo. That's right. When you when you love something and you try to get someone into it, whether they, they, they if they're not ready, they're not ready. But the worst part is when somebody shoots down your musical, um, uh. Like your, your your likings, what you love. So the Stitch Method podcast is 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 I think it's just gonna be called. Um, <laughs> it's good that you're it, you're you're. But that's the thing is your opinion outspoken, and that's fine, Jay. But at the same time, like the whole entire idea, it's probably gonna be called in the mind of Stitch. Is I'm gonna be dissecting what I love and don't love about music, and you're gonna see hear my analytical part. Um, I have a student I've been working with for 15 years. He's gonna be my co-host the first couple episodes. We're gonna pick bands and topics, and we're just gonna the whole entire the whole entire idea is about hey man everybody's opinion about music is is, is legit, and it, it's designed to make people more aware about music that's out there and to hear what people love about that stuff. I'll be contacting some subscribers um, through FaceTime and uh, and Skype and doing segments where I talk to you guys and, and get you on uh, on the audio and splice you in there. So anyway, so a podcast coming soon, and 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 it'll be good. I, I hope. All right, so um, any questions before I have to get going? Let's see. Do you do you want to hear something really freaky? I'm from Western Massachusetts, now living in Sarasota. I'm the guy renting from Nate Howell. What? Wait, what? What? Are you kidding me? Fisher's Life Tools Transcendence. Wait, hold on. That is freaky. You live in Western Massachusetts, now living, and and you're the guy renting from Nate Howell. Where in Western Massachusetts, Jimmy? By the way, because I lived in Western Massachusetts. Uh, I I I lived. In, in Holyoke and Springfield. That's so funny. Um, okay, so Westfield. Are you kidding? Westfield? I, I worked at the Westfield Stop and Shop. I can't believe it. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> small world. Okay, so um, yeah, we can do an in the mind of John Mayer, but you got to understand something. I mean, like, I, I I like my guitar skills, but John Mayer is ridiculous. So let's just talk. Like, you guys want to talk about John Mayer? Uh, what did you take on boring exercises? Are they any good? Or are they take anywhere? I'll get there, Marcel. Remind me. Let's just talk about John Mayer for a second. You should consider collaborating with a drummer. Yeah, you should collaborate with a drummer. Me? Or you? Yeah. I love this guitar. Okay. 
So here's the, he, it's not the problem with John Mayer, but like, John Mayer is so good at what he does that he can hit the gas pedal and he can navigate the course faster than anyone. He is not doing anything that you haven't seen on the Blues Primer playlist or on Stitch Method. You know, he's, he's doing everything to a T that I talked about and he's hitting chord tones. It's just he does it really fast. So the thing is, when somebody says, in the mind of John Mayer, I'm like, well, how do we do it in the mind of John Mayer? Because I understand completely everything he's doing, but if we can't physically play it, you know how frustrating it would be? So, so we got to pick a nice, decently spe like decent tempo song for John Mayer, so you can see and go, oh yeah, that's exactly what he's doing, but he's doing it so fast that it's kind of a blur when you hear it. But he's not doing anything I do not discuss. Like, he has... He, uh, he has chord progressions I wouldn't think to do, then plays blues over it. Um, I, I looked at his chord progressions. His chord progressions are derivations of other blues. Vultures is good. Of, of other blues things. But Jason, when I see you, gra gravity. Yeah, we can do that. But, but I, think, I think Sean did a gravity... Um, uh, well, he did, he did de riff deconstruction. We can talk about that. So as long as it's a slower John Mayer song, um, you can see, you can be like, okay, great. Um, he, yes, he plays super uh, percussive too, and that's absolutely right. Um, he throws a lot of chord playing in there. It, it, it's, when you say percussive, it's more like he'll play double stops or pieces of chords. And we can talk. We can talk. I'm going to find you another. Uh, I'm going to find another you. All right. So just, just you know, I'll put in the comments and then let people like thumbs up them, and then we'll get, try to get to an in the mind of John Mayer. Um, I am a couple of quick announcements. I, anybody here going to Wani? Uh, brief solo where the light is amazing. Oh yeah, somebody asked me that. Anybody, Ian, when will you reveal your true feelings for Sean? Sean's uh, here. It is right. Sean's a very good friend of mine. There's my true feelings for Sean, and he has great hair. Okay, so now, uh, what are your thoughts on learning guitar in Open G? I haven't done that. You know, I'm I'm interested in learning some stuff. Um, hey Jimmy, um, I uh, I haven't done Open Tunings yet, so. Um, Neon, Where the Light Is, album is ridiculous. Tunes are loaded to see. Okay. Calm down, pancakes. Um, I wish I can't get here uh, as the crow flies. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hear as the crow flies. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to Wani, and I'm very, very excited just to chill out and enjoy a weekend of music. And if, if any of you guys are going to be there, please, you know, say hi. Uh, some, oh, yeah, rem okay, boring finger exercises. Um, boring exercises. <laughs> Let's just talk about that. I know what you're saying. Like, you know, I, I, I used to do this spider walk thing all the time when I was bored just watching TV, just... Whoa. I haven't done in a while. And the thing is, is, uh... It is... Boring exercises are only good if you can feel the pain. If you can do a boring exercise, don't do it. But if you do a boring exercise and it's a little bit painful, that's good. So finger exercises where you're moving in, in awkward ways. I used to sit, I used to feel this here. And I used to do it until I couldn't feel it there, like where the muscles weren't awkward. So boring finger exercises are good as long as you're doing them right and you're paying attention. You know, my, my number one thing, my number one complaint, not complaint, but to, uh, oh well, uh, the Burl on the guitar is beautiful. Yes, this is the Tella uh, Burl guitar DJ Williams model. And um, hopefully I get to meet DJ Williams because he'll be at Wani. Um, that <laughs> sounded nice in the rain outside, yeah. So, um, in the mind of Mick Taylor, maybe. Uh, fair enough, man. John Mayer is badass, but you're just as badass for being genuine with your content. Well, thank you, Rory. That's very, very nice of you. I think he is badass. You know, I, um, uh, how do you recommend learning legato? Oh, um, okay. Pancakes McGee. Um, if you go to my channel... If you go to my channel, uh, one of my live feeds is has um, the name Cheddar Kung Pao in it. He's a subscriber, and I made a video. I did a live feed about Legato, so check it out first. It's there for you. Um, how, can we hear some Althea? I love how John sounds on that. Um, I have a whole. What do you mean, like right now, or do you mean like breaking down what John does on it, or because I have a whole Althea video? Just go to my channel and type in Stitch Method Althea, and it's a badass lesson. It's a badass lesson, by the way. Um, so, uh, too good, man. I watched Joe Satch lesson where he warmed up by switching all four fingers at once, each finger in different strength. Jeez. Um, yeah, um, that's crazy. Satch is nasty, too. Uh, what have you been inspired by recently? Oh, that's great. 
Okay, what have I been inspired by recently? Um, um, okay, so there, I guess. Okay, um, I went out. I went out to a brunch with my family. Um, I think a week ago, two weeks ago, and we we're at a restaurant, and some cool groove music came on. Now you gotta understand, like I do love jam band and blues and all that stuff, but I'm a sucker for like true, like just just groove music where like you know you'll hear this bass line, just just stuff that's like like a. And just, and you just hear like, you know, just repetitive just grooves. And 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 um, it, it was happening at this restaurant. I could barely even like concentrate. And so I grabbed the waitress and said, "Yo, what what is playing right now?" And she said, "It's it's on Spotify. It's Little Dragon Radio." Now I don't know the band Little Dragon. I was like, "Is that a band?" She's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Huh." I'm like, is that what this is? She's like, no, it's a it's a playlist on Spotify called the Little Dragon Playlist. And the songs that were so groovalicious. And I just said, you know, I, I, I've been just into like writing grooves. And actually that helped me um, with an upcoming video, uh, hello, about doing an In the Mind of Bob Weir. Um, because I it really it really just put something in perspective for me about the groove in Bob Weir. So I've been inspired by this groove music. Can you explain some of the benefits a guitarist might gain from playing an acoustic that he might not gain from playing? Yes. Um, you will always gain finger strength from um, you will always gain finger strength from playing an acoustic. The strings are thicker, and the neck is not designed to be as playable as an electric. An acoustic is made to produce sound, so the strings are thicker, the strings are tighter, the necks are bigger, the body's bulkier. You have to coax the, the um, you have to pick the the, um, the strings a little bit harder. So when you're playing an acoustic, you know, like you you have to play it harder, and at the same time, what's really cool, and I like it, is if you're practicing legato, you still got to push, right? Oh, Albert, you're reading my mind. So, one second, Albert. Um, so, like, you know, if you take you and Joe myself, you know, like, man, uh, you can play it easily on electric, but like, when you're, when you're uh, on an acoustic, you get to like, boom, and the thing is, you have to crush, but still be really smooth, and boom, 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 boom. That helps your playing. Um, what's the difference between the vamp and the chop? I don't know. Okay, so so here I have a, I have I have a well. Okay, hold on, time, 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 time. Don't answer what a vamp is just yet. I learned about a vamp when I was. Um, uh, will type two jamming ever be something you discuss? Maybe. I, I, I that's gonna be my podcast. We'll talk about that. I think that whole entire type two type one is absolute bullshit. Part of my French. Like, I think it's just BS. Somebody made it that, and everyone caught like got that name when oh yeah type one type two but I understand what you're saying but I will never refer to it as that so let's just talk about vamps um, when I was in sixth grade um, I learned about vamps and and, um, and so um, vamps are only just it, it's not two chords it's a section of music that repeats that's all it is it's a section of music that repeats before starting again or going into a new part. The best way I can describe a vamp, and I'm making a video on vamps, but here's you're going to see it in the professional stitch method video. The best thing about a vamp is the best way to picture it is if you're playing a blues song, you know, um, a yes, but like picture you you know exactly what a vamp is, right? Picture you're at a blues concert, right? All of a sudden, the band gets low, right? And then the singer goes, you know guys, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story about this kid. Alright? And, and, and they sit and they go back and forth in these two chords. And the guy tells a story and he usually talks really deep. Alright? And then he'll be like, he'll tell a story, right? And he'll be like, boom, and then he'll give the nod, and, and you know, right at the end he'll be like, and then that's when things are crazy. And then, boom, boom, Right? So the vamp is, is a repeating section, and the whole entire idea is, you know, you have a simple chord vamp, but you can really dress up your, your vamps. 
So we talk about dressing up your vamps. Anyway, so that's that. So that makes sense to you guys? I mean, that's what a vamp is. It's a repeating section, and we vamp on it, okay? New to your channel, what order do you recommend watching videos? Um, watch the playlist, Curtis, um, and then just eh, watch the playlist. Blues Primer, Pentatonic, and then just click on the videos and look and see what interests you, because I guarantee you will like it. So that's the most I've ever sold on my channel. Do you use different strings and different scales? Uh, I don't really have anything... Um, that I can tell you about scale, like scale length and, and strings. I've never considered type two mode switch usually, which is the same scale. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the type two and the type one stuff. Like type one is groove, type two is I get it. It's it's when the jam lets loose and like I always say, it pulls like taffy and stretches out and becomes something else. I get it, but like they are not conscious of type one, and type two. Tran Astagio from Fish is such a courageous guitar player, he will pull that band to a space and the band has to react. He's the leader of that band. And and, and the way that you understand this is the difference between Fish and Tab, the Trey Anastasio band. The Trey Anastasio band does not let Trey pull the band out into thin taffy. The, fish, the, the idea of Fish is to start with a, a group and let Trey work and the band kind of works with them and they might get lost, you've all heard it, they all kind of like maybe get down, they get up and they get this weird stuff going on, you're like, what's happening? And, and I get it, but that's Trey pulling the band to these spaces and, and, the, and Mike and Fishman and Paige trying to follow and, and loosen up and, and, and let things happen organically, but if you listen to Tab, um, uh, maybe with a slide, but if you listen to the Anastasia band, that band's like, we're, hold we're, we're holding the fork down for you, band. Boom, ba -ba -ba -ba. And we're You are not going to let us, you are not going to let us pull us out of this groove. And that's the difference between the two. So I think the type one, type two things are bull, bull crap, um, and, and in my honest opinion. I know they exist, I know what you're talking about, but to name that stuff, because there's no rhyme or reason, you just pick one and go, um, no, 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 I don't have a weather report. Uh, lesson coming. Anyway, I gotta get going soon. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm nine months into playing your videos, Captain and me, and I love watching them, even though I'm not anywhere near your galaxy. You are, you are. Uh, that said, what's your favorite Jerry like solo to play? Um. Oh man, that's a tough question, man. Um. I I like the Eyes of the World guitar solo a lot, or Althea. But I like Eyes of the World because it's just like, it's just, it's just going. It's just going. I have an Eyes of the World video I did live. You can check it out. I, I like this, but, but but I have an In the Mind of Jerry Garcia coming out for the Jerry Garcia band. Um, hardest Grateful Dead tune I know. I have no idea. I'm not going to play because I'm going to screw it up because I'm not rehearsed. Um, let's see. Rip, yeah, it's ripping. What's your favorite Stevie Ray song? Ooh, I've, well, I was just teaching Pride and Joy, but I think Texas Flood is great. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't, there's, there's a lot. Your Althea video really helped me get the Jerry space. That's awesome, Robert. Um, thanks so much, Stitch. Love the channel, and these live lessons are very inspiring as a new guitar player. Well, stick with it, John, because here's the deal: is you know, it, it, um, here's my advice to you, John. All right, and whether it's me or someone else, like, don't pay attention to teachers that don't make sense or make you feel stupid for not following them. That's it. That's how you learn guitar. That's how you learn anything. Imagine, I mean. Really, imagine walking into a college history class and the teacher talks to you for 45 minutes and you go, what the, like, what, what the, right? Oh, I'm paying for this? You know, it's the same thing. There's so many people out there teaching that if they don't connect with you, F them. Find a new teacher. There's 3,000 guitar teachers, right? So just uh, do the Neil Cassell video for chord tone practice. Yeah, that stuff's good. Thank you, Jason. The Neil, the Neil Cassell video is, uh, is awesome. I really want to get a chance to meet him. He's going to be at Wan E, and I just want to like, be like, Yo, Neil, do you recognize his face? Did somebody tell you about this? Because I want to meet you and shake your hand. So the Type 2, then, it's really just a jam that starts in one key and then takes off from there. I think you asked the same question. It starts on a groove in a key, yes, and then Trey will switch his mode. He'll probably go from major to minor or minor to major, and the band catches on. And as soon as it derails, you know, as soon as it derails from that Type 1 or that groove they have, you know, then they're in absolute, like, uncharted territory, and they're on hyper alert, and they're playing, but they are following Trey, and they're, they're following whether he's major or minor, and, and they're, they're, they're hooking into it, and you can hear really good type 2 jams, and you can hear really bad type 2 jams, and whether how good they were following. One of my favorite ones, I can't remember the year, was a Chalk Dust Torture at, um, in Camden, New Jersey, and it, it started off standard, and then it just 
it, it just went into outer space. I mean, just, it took me to another galaxy. I might not have been sober. I might not have been, but that's, you know, whatever. So, uh, or go to what key am I in? There we go, dot com. Uh, I thought they went around in a circle, each adding something. In. Yes, that's how they practice listening to each other, Dave. And, and just in case people are wondering, this is fish talk. That's how they practice, and, and that's the thing, is like, they practice like that. So when someone makes a change, they can hop on board, right? And that takes them into those uncharted territories. But but if you listen to the tab, the Trinastasio band, they don't rehearse like that. They give Trey a good palette, just a palette. Like, hey, we are going to be here, we're going to rock, and you can do your guitar solo. And Trey obviously likes that. He probably doesn't like the pressure of being like, hey, man, you know, maybe one night I don't want to pull the band to outer space. Like, can you guys just hold the fort down? And they, yeah, okay. You know, and Tony, the bass player, is like, I got you, buddy. I'm not changing. You know, so, um, guitar workshop at Watkins Glen. I don't know what that means. Uh, what skills do you need to acquire to do that? Better your ear? Um, are you talking about Trey and pulling people and, and, and pulling? Um, you have to have a band that's willing to follow you. Um, Rory, any tips on chord tones? Hold on, hold on. Rory, can I ask you, Rory, how long have you been watching Stitch Method? Because my Blues Primer playlist, I'm not trying to sign room, my Blues Primer playlist, any one of my Grateful Dead and any one of my Fish Jams and my new Neil Cosal ones, all are about chord tones, so hit them up. Also, that is the Unhinged Chuck Dust. Uh, what, what is? The, the, the Unhinged Chuck Dust, which one it, in Camden, I was there for it. It was unreal. It was absolutely unreal. Where should I get my two year old? <laughs> get him now. Get him now. Get him now. Hopefully, you know, in 10 years. The 1991. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's the one I was at. Right? Was it? No, it could have been. 1991 came to one? Was it 90? I don't know if it was 90. But it came unhinged. And it was ridiculous. I'll tell you a quick, can I tell you a quick story? It might involve an illicit. Are there any youngins here? Are, are, are there any youngins that shouldn't hear, like, bad stories? Okay. I, I, I cannot, I cannot, I, I don't want to tell you a story, but I'll tell you a story. Um, can you play Frankenstein? Yes, I can play Frankenstein, but I can't, I, I mean, like, oh, oh my god, I have not I, I, I used to play it, but I forgot how about it. Uh, 71099, that's it. No, that's it, that's it. It's 71099. Um, okay, I'll let the story fly. It's a stupid story. I'll end with a story. Hopefully people in the replay won't make it this long. They'll be sick of me talking, okay? Okay, so, uh, all right. So my friend and I, who will uh, remain nameless, uh, we were driving in my Volkswagen Jetta down <laughs> from Long Island to the Camden Show. And, and, uh, oh my god, I can't, why am I telling you a story? I, I should not be telling you a story. So, um, so we had with us, um, some... <laughs> Why I shouldn't be telling you sorry. Uh, some illicit material that needed a lighter to, to light. So it was right when the the new back then back then okay back then the the butane lighters that fired like the like those guys right. It's just when they came out and I had one in my pocket and um, he wanted he was in the passenger seat. No, not crack, not crack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shut up. You all know what it is, but it's not crack. Shut up. All right, so here we go. So. Um, why am I telling start? So I give him, I give him the lighter, and I'm driving, and we're on. We, we, you've just gotten, I think, on the New Jersey Turnpike, and, and we're driving, and I hear the lighter go off. I hear the lighter go. Psh, I hear him go. Oh! And I'm like, what? And he's like, oh my god, I burnt my thumb. And I'm like, and I'm like, literally, literally, like, it's not crack. Shut up. <laughs> crack is whack. I mean, no, it's not crack. Don't. No, never do that crap. So, um, and I'm sitting there driving, and I'm like. Uh, you're totally organic, thank you, yes, and, uh, and I'm like, and I'm like berating him, like, how, I'm like, you're an idiot, dude, and I'm like, how do you burn your thumb on lighter, he's like, dude, it's the weirdest thing, I don't know, and, and so he rolls in the window, and he's sticking his thumb, like, thumbs up out the window, and, and it's trying, like, he has a blister, and, and we're going, like, 60 miles an hour, and it's, like, pulling his thumb off, I'm like, give me that, I'm like, I'm like you're an idiot, so, so I'm driving, and I go to do the same thing, and I go, and I'm like, no, oh! <laughs> and it was a new, it was the first time he used this lighter, and I'm like, oh my god, I got this giant blister on my thumb. Why am I telling you a story? And so I rolled out my window, and we're both driving. Well, we're both. I'm driving. We both have our thumbs up out the window. And as we get deeper in New Jersey, all these fish fans are driving next to us. And like, I got the beard, and he's he's got a scratch. And everyone's honking like, yeah, give us the thumbs up. And I'm like, no, no, I just didn't know how to use a lighter, man. And everyone was still, anyway. Everyone was giving us. Cool story, bro. Shut up. But anyway, so everyone's giving us thumbs up. That's my little story for you. And we just burnt our, the hell out of our thumbs. 
uh, because we didn't know how to use a lighter. And I don't know why I told you this story. I'm going to edit this. Um, <laughs> shut up. Anyway, uh, thank you all for being here. I hope I hope that you didn't. Uh, what when can we look for? Um, uh, soon, soon. I'll give you a little taste. I'll give you a little, a little taste in the mind of Bob Weir. Um, before we go. And again, I hope that story wasn't a. <laughs> sorry, there's a contact. I sorry. So in the in the mind of Bob Weir, you know, you're gonna learn how he does stuff like this. On, let's see. Let's see. You're gonna hear how he's like. Pocket and he and he lets um he lets the drummers do the work. That's I'm going to tease you with it. But he's a master of time and space. And so when you hear these grooves, it's very hard to hear Bob Weir, man. It's it's hard because he's so like under the radar. He'll be like. get all those cool chords going and we'll talk about that i hope that made sense all right guys 41 minutes and a story about illicit drug use you guys kill me uh thank you all for being here uh thanks for the advice uh that was sweet can't wait cool well thank you all for being here you guys make my day um i've had a really good day and this was like the icing on the cake um and again custom video lessons if you want them no pressure stitch method um, I'm filming the podcast tomorrow for the first time. I have to like edit it and get it up and then make a notification and all that stuff goes with it. So I don't know. And I reserve the right to say, hey, that podcast sucked. We have to wait. So could you make a, um, a buddy guy? Watch my Blues Primer playlist if you haven't. Buddy, buddy guy, I mean, just does all the same stuff, but you just got to keep practicing, getting technically good at it. But I could, if you pick out a good Buddy Guy song and you want to hear what's going on in his mindset and what he's selling. Uh, where, oh my god, please, uh, Ian Cohen's guitar again. I, I don't know that. Uh, so cool hanging out with you. Thanks, man. Thank you, Phil. Uh, Philip, I appreciate that. Do you ever need graphics help with your videos? I use Adobe Premiere, would love to help. Oh, yeah, uh, well, you can tell because I'm using, I'm, <laughs> I'm using iMovie. Um, so, what do you think of Greta Von Fleet? Well, um, it's funny, I heard them for the first time, believe it or not, like a month ago, and I was like, oh my god, they sound like Zeppelin. And I'm like, well, they sound a lot like Zeppelin. They do a good job, but I love Led Zeppelin. Nothing against Greta Von Fleet. Like, they, they do really good. Like, I, 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 was, I was really impressed with their... Um, I think it, uh, on um, DeMont 2, um, I, I was really impressed with Greta Von Fleet's, like, attack and, and, their, and their rhythm. But I think the name of the podcast, I mean, it's going to sound stupid. It's just going to be In the Mind of Stitch. I think that's what it's going to be. Unless I can think of something that rings a little bit better. Um, anyway, to all of you who are here, thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, I don't play, I used to play out, um, where you locate, I'm in southwest Florida, um, where it was a beautiful, beautiful day today. And, um, you know, I know Florida gets, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I think guitar music will make a mainstream comeback. Well, Lalo, here's the question for you. He's, you say, do you think guitar, I'm doing my best to keep the ship afloat. Um, I'm trying to inspire and keep guitar alive for those who like the stitch method. You know, you don't, but like, if, if you like the way I teach and it inspires you, then we have a chance, we have a chance, um, you know, to keep guitar music alive. So that's, it's part of my mission, right? Because this thing has brought a lot of joy, a lot of joy to me. And it will to you. Uh, it, it does take time, though. It takes time. If there were a magic pill, trust me, I'd give it to you guys in a, in a heartbeat. So anyway, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, it, <laughs> hey, what's up? You just got here. I got to go. Um, Kevin, give me your video. Thank you so much for that awesome donation, by the way. Did not go unnoticed. Um, and you guys are awesome. Have a great week. See you guys soon. I am out of here. There's my big fat thumb.